Hello everyone, I hope you're well. Um, today I thought I will make use of some of my lavender. Um, and I've been making these little weaving, weaving ones. Uh, mainly because I'm going to give one to a friend for a birthday. So, um, and then I thought, well, isn't this great fun? Let me see if I can uh, inspire you to make your own. So what you'll need is some stems of lavender, some nice long straight stems of lavender and about a metre and a half to two metres of ribbon. Now I've only got some thin ribbon here but if you've got thicker ribbon, about five millimetres, then you'll make your lavender ones quicker. Uh, mine's going to take a little bit of time because I've got very thin um, I've got very thin ribbon but let's have a go so let's get our lavender so you need really long stems and you need to get rid of all the little bits so even these little bits here you can save those and maybe make a little lavender bag or sort of sprinkle it on your bath or you can mix it up with soap and you can do so many things with lavender absolutely love lavender um, but you need about, we're going to do about seven. So I'm going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you need a nice odd number and your ribbon. And you're going to get all your lavender heads and put them all together to make like a little bouquet. Or a little tuzzy muzzy nose gaze, whatever you want to call it. Oh, I've got a little bug there. Oh, go away, little bug. Looks little bug, little bug. So have a little shake. Make sure there's no bugs. It's a good idea. Ooh, that's it. A little shake. Make sure there's no bugs. Probably you should do this outside, not like I'm doing it in here. But um, there's there we go. So I've got seven lavender stems. I'm going to get the end of my ribbon, and I'm going to tie a knot at the end, right underneath the stems, all the stems there. Tie a little knot and do a double knot just to make it nice and secure. There we go there, and push it up as much as you can. There we go, now I'm gonna cut this little bit off here because that'll get in my way. I've got my ribbon and I've got my stems, and that's quite long, I probably won't need it that long, so I'm just gonna cut it a little bit there. So I've got about about a foot probably and once you start practicing you can um, judge um, how much length you want I'm going to hold I'm going to hold all the flowers in my hand and I'm going to start off just underneath or just on top actually of the knot that I made with the ribbon I'm going to fold or bend one of the lavender stems over I'm going to do it carefully and that's going to be my under. So the ribbon is underneath, underneath this stem. Now I need to go over the next stem. So this is the next stem. So I want the ribbon to go over, over the next stem, like so. That's it. And the next one, I'm going to bend the next stem over. So the ribbon is underneath the stem. The next one, I'm going to bend the next stem over and now the ribbon, I want it to go on top of the next one. So I'm going to do that again. So this is on top. So the next one, I want the ribbon to be underneath the stem. So the ribbon is now underneath. Turn it round. Now I want the ribbon to be on top. So I'm going to put it on top of the next stem. And the last one, on, this one's on top. So now this ribbon has to be underneath the next one. And then I start again. So when I start again, I find that the ribbon is on top. And then I need to go under the next one, over the next one, under the next one, over the next one, under, over, under, over, all the way around. Now, the first bit is really tr tricky. I find it really hard to get all the little bits to sort of stay in, 
stay in. But as you go along, you'll find it gets easier and easier. So I'm going under, over, so you can't get lost. So you just look at what you've done last, the, the last, the bit before. So now it's under the stem. So now I want to go over the next stem. I want to go under this stem, over the next stem, under this stem, over the next stem, oops, under the next stem, over the next stem, and I'm going to continue all the way round. Always making sure my ribbon is nice and flat. So it's under there, so now I go over, and now I go under, and I go over, and now I go under. Whoops, there we go. And I keep on doing that. If I show you that, you see, you start to see the weave. Now don't worry about this, these little bits of flowers coming through, because actually when they dry, they will pop off anyway, or you can just pick them off. And that's fine. Now I've got one that I've made a little bit further down and I'm just coming to the end of it I'm coming to the end so I've done all my weaving and I started off under so the next one's going to be over and the next one's under I'm going to go all the way around under over under and over and what I can do is when I get to the end I can actually just keep on turning it around and weave it. I can put a little bow, a little bow at the end, tie a little knot. Oops. I can cut this a little bit more. Oops, there we go. And all these little bits will all start to fall off. As they dry, these little bits will all come off, all the little flowers that are in between. You can tidy it up beforehand or you can just wait for them to drop off as they dry. But all the lavender is in here. So this is actually like a bottle of lavender oil. It lasts for ages and you can use it as an insect repellent, you can put it in your wardrobe, in your sock drawer, in your knicker drawer, you can hang it in the car, you can stick loads of them in the bars, you can make them with lots and lots and lots of pretty ribbon. And um, I think they're beautiful, I really do. I mean, they smell beautiful. You can make them as pretty as you like. I made this one with some wool. That was the first one I made. I made that one out of wool. And then I made this one out of, uh, this one looks more like little tuzzy muzzy little bouquet of flowers that Victorians would have held just like we have our mobile phones all the time with us a Victorian lady would have held a little tuzzy muzzy or a nosegay and put it under her nose it's because people were quite smelly then <laughs> they didn't wash very often <laughs> uh, but these are lovely and uh, you can give them out as little gifts and I hope I've inspired you to go outside in your garden collect some lavender and um do some weaving. Enjoy. Bye-bye. Take care.